Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to the Minecraft Snapshot Tour. Today it is Thursday, September 17th, 2015. And today Mojang released to Minecraft 15W38B. Um, it's a bug fix release. There are a few different uh, fixes including the one that I was talking about in yesterday's video or the, the one I recorded yesterday. So, um, let's, uh, let's just, so if I go into, let me give myself a, I should have done this in the actual world. Um, so if I go into, uh, no, not creative. I mean creative. If I go into survival and I pop out this block, notice that it breaks and falls into the hole. Pop. So now if I fill this in, oh, now it pops up to the top. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, so basically, um, I think what happened was they were trying to fix the collision bug and they knew that it would, it would break item elevators like this um, but they they didn't um, they didn't notice that it was causing some other things so this is kind of interesting so let's go get like a uh, stack of torches or something oh a stack of torches very good um, oops, stack of torches so <laughs> um, so this is sort of the item elevator that uh, has been used um, it's test, uh, blah, 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 uh, n n number of letter, numbers and letters. Uh, I will put it in the description, came up with this and, uh, it worked, served pretty well, but notice, plop. um, so, you know, we kind of have it go around a corner and we use blocks that are not quite a full hitbox size seven eighths i think these are seven eighths of a block the ender chest you can also use cake but if i put some torches in there notice they get stuck now oops a lot of them get stuck here and some of them go up and they get stuck up here none of them make it up here that's fine. That's kind of what we expected. Um, I, whoops, most of them are here. So we end up with our 64 torches. And even if I do something like this, oops, I don't want to do that. How do I, oh, how do I, there we go. Even if I just throw them like that and they go up, they kind of get stuck there on the on the fence post. Now I did notice sometimes when they get stuck in that position, if I put water here, it'll actually push them up. Not in this case. I've seen it happen once or twice. It's not common, uh, but it it has happened. Oh, look at that! So I had this thought. Oh. So once they get inside the block, they will go up. Um, so that's, oh no, the block's right there. The water block is right there. So once they get inside the block, so I had a couple thoughts. I thought, well, what if we do something like this? Where we take them, we put them down here and forget the fence post because what's happening is the reason we're doing this was to get them aligned with this edge, this the edge of this block here. I'm trying to get them in between the spot between the fence post and the wall here so that they inter intersect with that fence post or they sort of intersect with this fence post and then it's like, oh, I'm inside a block, so let me go up. So that doesn't happen anymore. And that's important because that sort of fixes the whole um, that that sort of fixes the whole uh, 
mobs glitching through stuff bug. So I was like, oh, well, what happens if we do this? And then pl since placing blocks doesn't, doesn't cause it to happen, what happens if I push a block into it? And notice it popped out this way. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so what if I don't give it that way to, to, to pop out? Let's see if we can get them down there. Oh, look at that. And then if I put this ice, this glass back and I go and push it. Notice they shot out that way and they shot out with quite some force, which is kind of amusing. Um, I've had them shoot out in a variety of directions, um, including this way. Like it would shoot out and end up way over here. Like that. Look at that. Oh, no, that's 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 a block I placed. So uh, there are some alternate uh, elevator designs, ways of getting stuff inside um, inside the block. So what happens if I do this? And then, like if I had another, do this. Where did it go? Did it go up? No. Did it go... Oh, it popped out over here. Okay, so as you can see, um, items are going to want to flow, are going to want to pop out to the side in as much as they can um, before they go up, which is fine. Uh, there are other ways of getting them going up into the elevator, and one of those is to put a dropper below pushing up, although... Uh, Zoom Avoid uh, did some tests with that today on a video today, and he found that sometimes they will pop out. They'll go part way up the stack and pop out to the side. So, uh, don't know. We will we'll play around with that. I'm, and, and of course, there's always the the dropper elevator, which works just fine. They're just a little annoying because they're noisy. So anyway, just wanted to play around with those ideas. I still think there might be something to this. Like if we put, maybe use a slime block thing and push in, push in a row of blocks. So there's not, because I think what it said is, oh, I'm here. Oh, this is partially, you know, the, the arm is solid, but not the whole block. So I think it decided it could pop out through there. So there may be, there may be some variations here. Um, I'm sure somebody will figure it out and figure out a nice uh, clever way of getting items to flow up. Basically, once you get it into the glass tower now, if there's not a convenient way for it to pop out the back or the side, it will flow up. Uh, just a matter of getting it into the glass at the bottom. So anyway, um, hang on a second and um, let me switch over to the survival world and we I'll be right back hello welcome back so here we are in our little hidey hole I haven't done too much um, very close to 30 levels it's night time out let's go to bed let's put this iron away Oh, come on. Hi, Mr. Zombie. Yeah, you're a square head. Okay. Woohoo, 30 levels. All right. Very good. So. All right. Um. I don't know what we're going to do here. Hi, cows. Um, I didn't have plans for today's episode. Let's go down in the mine. We can uh, get some more experience, maybe. I don't have anything to enchant, do I? Let's look. Not really. Oh, I did get a Silk Touch pick, which is very exciting. But this pick is doing okay, and I don't, uh, and this guy, I would like to get Unbreaking on. And this guy's got Fortune on it. So I don't know, maybe, let's see if we could do this. 
let's see if I put it in like this do I get silk touch efficiency and I'm breaking I'll take that it's only seven levels all right very nice although I'm using this melting of cobblestone as my XP farm at the moment I put uh, I put little redstone torches here to turn off these hoppers so they don't collect down in here they stay in here and as it get, builds up to uh, 64 I pull it out and I get a little bit of experience each time it's a bit excessive but it works so um, so yesterday it seemed like the game was I don't want to say unplayable but uh, the the change they made so that placed blocks don't uh, don't displace items was making the game very difficult uh, and I spent some time down here mining just to uh, just to make sure that I you know reaffirm that I felt I I was speaking the truth when I said that and uh, and I, I feel I was correct in saying that it definitely made made the game quite a bit more difficult oh I hear an enderman where is he so so anyway so now if I go and place some blocks and I'll find oops don't get on the right tool um, oops oh gravel no one likes you um, oh hello cave this could be bad oh well okay so for instance before, if that gravel had fallen down on the th on the uh, the redstone, it would not have uh, popped out like that. So now I can fill this in and actually get the redstone out, which is the way it should be. Where is this? Oh, that's right. That little lava lake. Oh, this is oh, <laughs> there's my tunnel underneath there okay so this is gonna be interesting so oh, we can eat so I was trying to figure out what what should I do um, I really felt that the 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 uh, blocks not displacing items was almost certainly an actual bug and not really what they meant when they said it was intended behavior um, and so I wasn't sure what to do I didn't want to just get on Twitter and complain because honestly I didn't think anyone would pay attention to me <laughs> Um, but also there were a lot of people potentially complaining now I think people were pretty um, excited by the whole skeleton horse rider thing so they weren't actually um, paying too much attention to the fact that a lot of stuff actually broke oh oh no 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 don't burn up my iron. Oh, still lava under there. Okay, burned up most of the iron. Drat. That was dumb. So I went. Uh, so I went to the Minecraft bug tracker. Um, Mojang uses a system called Jira. To track their to their issue tracking, which we use at work, so I'm somewhat familiar with it. And it's open; it's a it's a public tracker. Anybody can sign up for an account. So if you have an interest in 
seeing how things go on in the development uh, on Minecraft, you should go sign up for an account. It's free. They don't require anything. I think before you start reporting bugs, you should uh, learn a little bit of, you know, bug and testing etiquette. But, um, but anyone can do it. So, oh, I'm out of uh, cobble. Interesting. All right. So, uh, so anyway, let me show you something because I think it's kind of interesting. Okay. So this is the uh, the Minecraft bug tracker. So this is the newest bug, which is kind of amusing. Skeleton horse is dancing on edges, and this is not the most uh, this is not the most useful thing in the world. But when skeleton horses are on the edge, they move around. Not always. Like they're dancing. I mean, I'm not sure if this is intentional or not. Edit. Oh, I created two of these. <laughs> two of these what? I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like you created two bugs with the same content. That's fine. Unfortunately, what happens is uh, it'll get assigned to an employee at Mojang. And they'll go through and they will probably... Well, they'll, they'll close one of these be for being a, um, a duplicate. And they will probably close it as saying oh it's just this is the way it's supposed to behave um so so this is uh so this is what happens when you let people sort of crowdsource your your qc and it's fine um they've decided to do it and they get they get lots of bugs so that's fine here's the bug in question items don't move up when stuck in block uh it was reported by panda4994 you may have heard of um and who's a technical minecrafter part of uh uh puts out videos on youtube so has a very good description here of hey create a three by three thing put a block in and then place a block in the center and then it doesn't go anywhere it gets stuck inside puts up screenshots this is a really good bug it got closed as being intentional behavior based on an earlier comment that Grum had made saying things will not get pushed up when they are stuck on a block. They prefer to fall down. I, I think the current behavior is at least predictable. Uh, so this actually goes out. This is a really old bug. So this is Minecraft bug 88,843. This is referring to a, a bug number 1,230. Um, so this is a really old bug, and this ha this is at its root the thing that was causing mobs and, and items to glitch through blocks. So it's been there and, and sort of unresolved for quite some time. So you had some people saying, oh, this is the darkest day in the history of Minecraft. Um, so, you know, it's kind of... Uh, I don't know. This isn't the most useful sort of thing, but it is a public forum, and so they get all kinds. So I went and uh, I posted a response saying, "Look, I understand, but if there's no way for an item to go down, it should they should go up. Place blocks will not just place them at all. I mean, I'm sure the same space as the place block. This does not make sense from a physics standpoint. As long as I can remember, place blocks have always displaced floating items. The intended functionality feels more like a bug." And it makes mining and building in the game much more difficult. So then three minutes later, Grum, hmm, place blocks should displace them. I'll look into it. And then we got today's snapshot. Um, so there was some more, there was some more sort of gnashing of teeth and wringing of hands over this and what it means to, uh, to things. But, um, and Panda even here admits that elevators are probably a done deal they don't, uh, they don't work anymore because they relied on this, this very old bug that uh, is now fixed. And it's better that it's fixed because it means that, you know, the mobs aren't going to get out of their pens and things will stay where you expect them to stay. Um, so if we have to modify our elevator designs a little bit, yeah, that's fine. So be it. And the glass elevator design was this, the Test 137E29, which I don't understand the meaning of, of their name. But this is the person who came up with that basic glass item elevator design that so many people use. Um, and there's a, there's a link here that Panda includes to a 
YouTube video that's in German that shows a slightly slight modification of the item elevator that works in the current snapshot. So anyway, this is uh, the the bug tracker, which is bugs.mojang.com. This, if if you're interested in in sort of the development and helping. If you find things that don't seem right in the game and you want to report them or look and see if somebody has already reported them, come and sign up for an account here and then you can search on the existing bugs and look to see if other people are seeing the same thing and report on them if you can and argue for fixes that you prefer as, uh, as we see here. Now uh, this would have been fixed anyway because it, it sounds like the way they fixed it didn't exactly work that something was wrong there there was a bug introduced with the fix uh so but we did get a new snapshot that fixes the issue so anyway um hang on a second i'll be right back when we get back to the game Ooh, look at that diamond so anyway um i just thought you might find that interesting uh i'm gonna keep this short um, I haven't played too much with the snapshot. There aren't too many other changes, so it's not like there's a ton of other things to review. Um, if you're interested in just the changes that occur with each snapshot, there are other people that uh, do little highlights of them when they when they come out. Um, I'm trying to do something a little different here. Whoops! Can't dig with chicken. Or you can just be, be very slow. So anyway, I'm I'm going to do a little bit more mining and uh, enjoy the fact that blocks pop up when I displace them with with uh, or that items pop up when I displace them with blocks. And uh, and then I'll probably go and continue to try and and capture myself a zombie villager um, because. I'm just being super careful here because I don't want to lose any of these diamonds to lava. Oops. Oh. There we go. So anyway, um, there we go. Dig out these. Make sure there's no lava below. All right. Well, there you have it. Oh, oh, a full eight patch. I got 13 with my fortune pick. Very nice. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. And uh, I, I don't know if they'll do another snapshot this week. It seems unlikely. Um, but you never know. They may have introduced other bugs that they want to fix. So um, we will play with it if they do. But otherwise, uh, I'll keep playing and building up and getting to the point where we can go into the end i need a couple more ender pearls three more ender pearls and so we can get that end portal lit up and then we can go see what the new end port end dragon ender dragon fight looks like i've read a little bit about it and i've seen a couple of videos couldn't whoops oh. whoa that was weird have to look at the video playback on that um so i've seen I, I haven't completely been able to completely avoid videos of what the new dragon fight looks like i know that they've got uh the towers with the healing crystals are um there there are fewer of them it looks like and they are more closely spaced and that some of the healing crystals have are, are enclosed in cages which is kind of interesting um but so we want to we want to experience that and see what that's like and uh i don't i expect i expect we'll probably die the first time we go into the end so i'm kind of planning on that so we want to have backup backup armor and whatnot so we need to collect as many diamonds as possible but that's the plan so we will continue with this and i have um probably 
have seen it already by the time this comes out, but I've recorded a couple more episodes on the Minecraft LAN party server. Um, I do have some plans for that yet. We've been filling out uh, beacons here and there to make things like the wither fight easier. And, um, and uh, also I decided to uh, build an ice farm because uh, Vex kind of uh, tore down the one that we had built at his, uh, that he had built at his castle because he wanted to build an arboretum. It's completely his uh, prerogative. So, so anyway, um, that is, uh, that's all I've got right now. So I will let you go and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.